This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, we're taking the posse. The crew's heading out, out west. Out? Out west. Head to west, young man. Randy Rutier's outfitting. Yep, that's in, in South Dakota. Buffalo, South Dakota. Buffalo, but they're not hunting buffalo. No. The, these are all first timers. They're all newbies. Freddie, Dean, Paul, they're all newbies at this antelope thing. And you know, we're so curious to see if Freddie's gonna cry because this is his first pronghorn or prairie goat. I wanna see him sweat to death just inside sweat. one of them blinds. You know, we set Mr. this up Porter to give you sweat. a great simulation of what it all what it all takes to pronghorn hunt, especially on water holes. And that is, you've got your water hole. We've got our antelope. We've got our ground blind. And we've got almost 85 degrees today, so it's and it's going to climb. Yeah. So you sit in that blind all day, which I don't know. I don't know if Freddie actually sat in the blind all day. He claims they have he video footage it. of him eating lunch in the blind, but I can't Fred, see did it. you sit all day in the blind? We were sitting in the blind all day. There's video proof. Wait till you see the footage. Yeah. Well, then how about if we just get them going? We'll yeah. Just get them going. Get them on the road to Buffalo, South Dakota, to Routier's outfit. Go west, young men. Well, there it is. The world's foremost outfitters, they say, Cabela's. We're uh, Mitchell. We're in Mitchell, South Dakota. We've been at it about nine, about nine hours already today driving. We got about another four or five left to get where we're going. We're heading up to hunt speed goats, the world's second fastest land mammal, next to the cheetah. That's right. That's a fact. I looked it up. Uh, we're heading out to Randy Routiers. We're heading up there to hunt goats. We've been driving all day. We're getting into the home stretch here. I can't wait to get out there and get a look around the ranch. Just giving our equipment a check out after the long haul out here. 20 seems to be on. Get ourselves a 30 and a 40. 30 right in the top. Uh, just a tad high on the 40. But, uh, you know, checking out, make sure the Tricon's on. He seems to be pretty good. I think we're ready to go out there and get ourselves an antelope. Pronghorn. Oh. oh, by the way. By the way, you forgot the lucky logo. Lucky logo this week, Nikon. You know the little yellow box with Nikon? Look for the Nikon logo. We'll tell you what to do with it later. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now. They had that first night encounter. Dean had a great and encounter. And that, that buck just went right around the dike and went, bye, see you later. See they ya. just kind of teased him. Bye. And now it's Freddie's turn. Talk to you later. Freddie's got to get set up, ready to go, and yeah. he's psyched. He is pumped and ready to rock. Let's see how the Fredster does. Out here with Randy right there hunting speed goats, antelope. And uh, we just got set up. It's about 8.35. We got the blind a little bit late this morning. I had to check my equipment. We're set up out here on the same water hole that we were set up on yesterday with Dean. We had some good activity late in the afternoon yesterday. It's a little hotter today. It's pretty sunny out, not as overcast and cool as it was yesterday. So we're going to get settled in, let everything quiet down. And uh, I can already see some antelope out there milling around in the hay field. So we're going to shut our yapper and hopefully we'll have a goat down on the ground pretty soon.
Get out of Dodge. Freddy, you're actually passing up some animals? I can't believe this. Here's another awesome encounter. The bugs seem to get, be getting bigger. Those guys were, we were told by our guide, Randy, that, uh, and his gutter isn't above his hair and he doesn't have a girl, he's not a shooter. So those two bucks came in. They were a little bit bigger than that last buck to come in. Not shooter, so and then quiet back down and uh, see what else comes in. Hopefully the bucks will just continually keep getting bigger and that shooter maybe will be the next one that comes in. Here's the hill we last saw him on. Look there, Dean. There he is. Come on, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Awesome. Oh, goodness gracious. Thank you, big guy. The shot was a little bit far back, quartering away but uh, it quartered right up into his vitals and he went, uh, well I can see the blind, he didn't go 100 yards maybe from where he was shot and went right down. Ralph, Vicky, Dean, my cameraman, Randy Rutier, the Garings, uh, and the good Lord above, this is, uh, this is a day I'll never forget. Oh, is it hot. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm just trying to get psyched up, you know, for pronghorns. Yeah? If you want, I could put a sun lamp on you. 
I'll pass on that one. Oh, okay. Hey, that was pretty cool. Freddie got Freddie his first, got his first prairie goat. And he didn't away, cry. Fred. I think he cried, but they Dean Dean probably did him well. He paid, and didn't. He paid Dean off. Yeah. We'll make him cry. Talk about Dean. It's Dean's turn with Rotier Outfitting, and they are covered up with goats once again. Well, it's day three here at the Rotier Ranch out in South Dakota, hunting a antelope. Man, Freddie got himself his first pronghorn. You know, got it all on tape. Today, hopefully, we'll have the same type of action. Maybe we can get second antelope down today. Got our gear all lined out. We're all set, ready to go. Just got to wait for them to come into the water hole. Yep, that's him, Freddy. There he's like, see him in the grass. <laughs> we got him, man. <laughs> he's down. He's about right where yours was yesterday. Yeah. My first pronghorn. Oh, awesome. Awesome. South Dakota pronghorn out here at the Retier Ranch. We've been out here for just three days. Yesterday, Freddy got himself a nice pronghorn out of the same water hole. Mare stepped blind there put his down pretty fast got this one about in the same location here he ended up falling nice representative out here there are bigger bucks but you know you can't look a gift horse in the mouth mouth uh, once again thanks to Freddie thanks to Ralph and Vicki everyone at Archer's Choice welcome back to the Archer's Choice okay be careful don't hit the ground blind it's a fatal mistake of all antelope hunters can you do it? Ooh, good job, good job. Hey, Dean, congratulations, that was an awesome first go, and now we're gonna get into Paul's first time. A lot he gets of first a little timers. Excited. He gets a little excited. That's so, what you're supposed to do. So let's just roll the punch. So you wanna be a pronghorn hunter. Look how hot it is in our blind. It's 101, now 0.5, and I'm sweating. It's smoking hot in here. It's not as easy as you think it is sitting in here for 12 hours a day with a 100 degree temperature. I got an air condition.
Go down. Go down. Go down right there. Come on. Come on. Go down. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Jesus. Make it more. Oh my goodness. Oh, I gotta calm down. Oh, I gotta calm down. Oh. Buddy, he's down. You smoked him, sir. You smoked him. <laughs> oh, man, good job, Freddy. My God, I have spent the hours in this blind. If you only knew how many hours. This is our fourth day of the hunt. This is the third buck that's been taken over this water. Man, Freddy, you put me on him. <sighs> Can I go get him? <laughs> man, look at this. That's my first pronghorn with my Hoyt bow, Freddy. I'm pumped, baby. That Spitfire did the number. <sighs> hey, Paul, could you show a little more emotion? This is my first pronghorn hunt, and what an experience it has been. Oh, my. Good cutters. Man, he is looping there. Oh, my goodness. What a goat. <sighs> Man, they came in quick. Came in really quick on us this morning, this yeah, afternoon. And that Ameristep blind was hot, but it was cool right now, man. And I'm excited. Man, I, I just want to thank Ralph and Vicky from the Archer's Choice and the Choice. They have sent us out here and put us on some goats. And if it had not been for Randy and his, his outfitting guy here, Randy Rutier, he has, I have seen more goats this week, folks, for a first time antelope hunter than ever in my life. And I've not been in many places, but we have seen the goats. I can't count how many. And this has just been an awesome, Awesome hunt. We sure hope you enjoyed this week's Archer's Choice hunting with Randy Retier Outfitting out in South Dakota for pronghorns. They had a great time man, and he knows great. what he's doing. He sure does. They were covered up with animals and that's when you're looking for a great hunt that's what you're looking for. Opportunity. You're right and we also want to hope that you looked for the Nikon Lucky logo. If you spotted the Nikon logo this week's show you need to log on to huntingnet dot com slash archers choice fill in the information let us know who you are where you're at and someone is going to win Might something from nikon that's right so again we hope you enjoyed this week's show we'll see you next week same time same channel right here on the archers, archers choice. choice do you want to uh, grab the arrows yeah there's a lot of stuff okay <laughs> what the oh man it